satellite and radar showing us that we've got a little bit of cloud cover off to our southern counties. But other than that, just that snow off to the north. Luckily for the rest of today, we are expected to stay dry. We're also expected to really only see a couple of passing clouds throughout the day. Otherwise, expect a relatively cool and chilly day. Temperatures right now for all of our communities starting off in those lower to mid and even upper 20s, depending on where you're at. But again, no matter where you're at, it is definitely cold. So furnace needs to be on. You probably need to heat up your car before you hop inside because it's just a little bit on the cooler side. Winds are out of the northwest. That's our main culprit for those cooler temperatures. Uh, right now, still pretty quiet between about 5 to 10 miles an hour, but most of those could pop to about 15 miles an hour later today, becoming a lot stronger. And as they push in from the north, that's what's going to really uh, continue to push that colder air in, but they will start to switch direction as we head into the weekend, ultimately pushing in from the southwest at about 5 to 15 miles an hour. And as they start to push in from the south, we'll see that directly reflected in our temperatures that start to warm. For the next couple of hours, we'll see passing clouds, partly to mostly sunny skies, a little bit more of that cloud cover sticking right along the lake shore. As we head into this weekend, we'll see cloud cover begin to develop by Saturday. And then as we make our way into Sunday, a low pressure system brings along chances for some snow showers. Those are going to push through throughout the entirety of Sunday. It looks like we could even see some mixed precipitation at times, just depending on what the air temperature is, as well as the road temperature. And then ultimately what we expect is around one to two inches of snow to accumulate. For today, high temperatures rise to 34 degrees, partly cloudy skies, much cooler and of course breezy. Low temperatures tonight will fall all the way into the lower 20s, so even colder than what we're experiencing this morning. When it comes to high temperatures tomorrow, the good news is we start to warm up just a touch. Over the next couple of days, we'll see those temperatures rise to about 37 for Saturday, lots of cloud cover, and then that snow starts to move in for Sunday. As it moves in, high temperatures drop all the way to freezing for Monday and Tuesday. A couple chances for flurries by Wednesday and Thursday. Temperatures back on the upswing by the tail end of next week. But overall, overnight temperatures are stuck in the 20s and our air temperatures will be stuck in the 30s.